Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing some Among Us nails. I've been playing this game for a while now and I've wanted to recreate these nails. I'm gonna start by using this very fine art detailing brush. I'm also gonna use some acrylic art paint for the design. I'm gonna start by painting white dots over all the nails. This is going to be the space background. On two or three of the dots, I'm just going to place a little T-shape to make it look like the stars are shining. You don't have to place these perfectly, just anywhere you would like to put the stars. Now I'm going to take some of the white paint and I'm going to mix together a very light pink tannish color. This is going to be the background for the emergency meeting, the dead body reported, and the kill screen. Now I'm going to take this angled small brush and I'm going to place the color I just created on the center of the white nails. I'm only going to place this in a small section in the middle. I'm going to go back to the very fine art brush and I'm going to create flames coming off of the center. If you would like to purchase these brushes, I put the link in the description box below. Now I'm just taking some red acrylic paint and I'm outlining the design that I just did. Now I'm going to repeat the same step on my ring finger.
So once I do that, I'm going to take some yellow acrylic paint and I'm going to start on the crewmate. I'm going to have the crewmate facing towards the kill. They're pretty easy to draw, you just start off with a little bean shape and then you add little legs on the bottom. After you add the legs on the bottom, you're going to add the little backpack. Where you place this depends which way you want your crewmate to be facing. Now I'm just going to mix together some dark green paint. I kind of mixed this too dark, but you can still see it in person. I'm just placing this on top of the crewmate's head. This is going to be the leaf hat. Now I'm just mixing together some orange paint. I'm going to be creating the other crewmate. I'm going to repeat the same steps as my pinky, only I'm going to have the crewmate facing the kill. You can use whatever colors you like for the crewmates, but this is just what I had in mind for this design. Now I'm just going to mix together some purple paint. This came out a little bit lighter than it is in the game, but that's exactly what I wanted because I wanted to be able to see the design perfectly. Now I'm just taking the purple paint and I'm going to paint the imposter. I'm going to be doing the tongue kill because this is my favorite kill of the game and yeah. <laughs> So after I do the lower half of the imposter, I'm going to be doing a line going upwards and this is going to create the open mouth. It's kind of like Pac-Man. Then I'm going to take some black paint and I'm going to place a little hat on top of the imposter. Now I'm mixing up some lime green paint. This is going to be for the crewmate that is being killed. I'm just making a very basic crewmate for this. Now I'm taking some yellow paint and I'm going to do a second layer on the pinky. Now I'm going to take the orange paint and I'm going to do another layer on the orange crewmate.
I'm also going to be creating a hat for this crewmate. Originally, I was going to do the little bear ears, but once I did it, I did not like how it looked, so I turned them into the horns. The horns are simple, it just starts as a dot on top of the head and then wraps around the back. Once I got the base of the horns down, I take a very light brown and I'm going to highlight the top of the horns. Now I mix together some grays and I'm going to be doing the helmet of the crewmates. Unfortunately, this part was cut out because my camera died. <laughs> but it's pretty simple, you just draw a little oval where you want the helmet to go. Now I'm taking the darker gray and I'm adding a line at the bottom of the helmet. This is going to add some shadows and some depth. Now I'm just taking some white acrylic paint and adding a highlight to the top of the helmet. This gives it a shine and makes everything look more realistic. Now I'm taking some very light gray and adding teeth to the imposter. This is another thing you can't really see on camera, but in person you can see it and it looks pretty good. Now I'm just taking some black paint and outlining parts of the crewmates. For the black nails, since they're black, you can't really see if I did a whole outline, so I just create a line for the backpack, a line between the legs, and then I outline the helmet. Since the two nails in the middle have a light background, I'm going to place a outline around all of it. If you're still watching, don't forget to leave a like on this video! Once I have everything outlined, I'm going to create the tongue kill. Basically, I just create a straight line from the imposter's mouth to the crewmate. On my thumb, I'm just going to be writing Purpsis, <laughs> which is short for purple is suspicious. This is because the crewmates are suspicious that purple is the imposter. Once I finish doing all the artwork, I'm going to let my nails dry for a full hour. This is what the paint recommends and I did not want to risk smudging my artwork after spending so much time on it. So while I wait, I'm going to play a short game of Among Us. This game was really weird, it was really short.
So after an hour of waiting, I put a gel top coat on my nails and cured it in the lamp. If you really liked how these nails turned out or you have a suggestion for future nail art, don't forget to leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!